about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know hi everybody my name is sandra welcome to my channel today is a get ready with me i am heading to red deer so we are doing our makeup the first thing I'm applying here is my primer. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm going in with this foundation brush to put on my KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. The shade is in the shade Medium 051. I really like this product. Um, this is probably the first foundation I've almost emptied the container on. And I feel like I can use it very sparingly and still get a really awesome coverage. So where I like to put this product is mostly on my cheekbones to cover up my skin pigmentation. I usually leave my forehead pretty minimal because I don't want product collecting in my expression lines. And for some reason I find that it gives the best kind of like glowy natural finish. Um, I just love this product so much. So for setting spray, the first setting spray I'll use is this Jeffree Star with Morphe Set and Refresh Mist. And I just feel like I haven't used it in forever. It's like this starberry um, scent. It's so nice. Um, for concealer, I used my Kosas Creamy Revealer Concealer in the shade 04N. And I put on very minimal product because all I want is a little extra coverage under the eyes where I have some darkness. And I find that this concealer is so creamy, it does not crease that easily with how creamy it is. And that's why I love it so much. It's probably hands down one of my current most favorite concealers. And it's so good. I do use an angled brush to blend it out underneath my eyes especially. And the powder that I'm using is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Um, under the eyes, I usually go for the shade One Fair, and then I just put a light coating all over my face. Um, I find that it works really, really well, but if you have oily skin, it does not really set your makeup that well. So finally, for the first time I feel like in ever, I'm showing you how I do my brows. Again, very minimal because this look is, um, it's not a minimal look necessarily, but it's definitely lighter on the makeup. Um, face makeup side of things. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is probably hands down one of my favorite products for brows. And then to keep all of my brows in place, I use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Freeze Gel. And um, honestly, like it looks like it takes a while, but it it's probably, this is probably one of my quicker brow routines. I just fill in any sparse areas and I try to make my brows as even as possible, but guaranteed every single time, it never happens, you guys. Um, something's always off. And you know what? I'm okay with it. It doesn't really bother me that much. So I'm just putting a quick coating of this on my brows to keep them in place. Uh, my brows aren't terribly unruly in the first place. I'm going back to an oldie but a goodie for my contour and bronzer. Again, very minimal here. But this is the Tarte Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette. I think it was stopped selling probably about two years ago. But I bought like two or three of these because I love them so much. I'm using this angled contour face brush um, to put on a little bit. And again, just contouring the natural kind of shape to my face. Um, I always kind of think, instead of trying to shape your face to something that it's not, I always try to go with my natural contour of my face just to make it um, kind of stand out just a tiny bit more. So next is blush time. And this is... Actually, um, a limited edition palette, but it's by Tarte. It's the Tarte Lip Blush in Bloom Blush Palette. And the reason I picked this palette is because none of the colors are shimmery, which sometimes I'm looking for a matte blush and I don't like to have shimmer on my cheeks. The liner I'm using is this Milani Brown Coal Liner, and I'm applying it to my lower waterline only. Um, usually I like pull my eye away from my my lid away from my eye because I wear contacts and it bothers me but this time I managed to do it on camera and then I'm going into my Patrick Toffer Eyes palette so this is the original palette I'm using the cream shadow I don't think I've actually used it before but I'm applying this to see how it looks with the sparkly shade and what I found after application like wearing it for a couple of hours was that it did crease and it also moved up towards my eyebrow during the day so I'm not sure if I would recommend using the cream product unless you set it with maybe some translucent powder first. But yeah, I found that it shifted on my eyes. So that's the only problem 
that I found with the cream formula because I know Patrick Ta is like famous for his cream formulas like for face but I don't know about using it as an eyeshadow. Uh, I don't have particularly oily eyelids either so um, it kind of was a little bit uh, intriguing there. But when I put this sparkly brown shade on top, it looked so good. I love this look. And it went with my maternity dress. This dress is like a, a brown dress. I actually got it from Walmart, but um, it was so cute. I ended up having to wear leggings underneath it because it was a little short, but it was so cute. So I'm adding this brown shadow to the lower lash line as well, kind of using it as a lower lash line liner, blending it into that coal liner I used earlier. I'm blending all around the edges just to make sure there's no like harsh edges anywhere. And then I apply some liquid liner. So the liquid liner I'm using is the Rare Beauty Matte Black Liquid Liner. And before we do that, I'm adding some highlight from this same palette to the inner corners of my eyes. Um, you'll see that I do this in almost every makeup look because it just kind of adds some brightness, especially when you're using dark colors. It is a really nice trick. So I'm just darkening up my lash line. I will not be using lashes today. I'm just using mascara. So this is one of my favorite things to make your lash line look darker. Just get a nice black matte liquid liner and apply it as close to your lash line as possible. And this is my favorite mascara hands down. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. The setting spray is Charlotte Tilbury. And the last step is lip gloss. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more and click on the bell button and we'll see you guys next time. Bye friends. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.